William Ruto, the president of Kenya, promised Kenyans a lot of goodies. Actually, he said that within 100 days, he will you know, change the lives of Kenyans. He promised Kenyans that within 100 days, the price of Unga will go down to 70 from 2 to 20. <laughs> you know, uh, fuel will go down, cooking oil will go down. And actually, Ruto knew very well that he was, not, he was not going to be able to do this because it's not easy to do it like within 100 days. I cannot say that he cannot do it, but within 100 days, it's not a walk in the park. And of course, uh, I believe Ruto um, knew that maybe Raila Moldinga, <laughs> after, after, you know, after he defeats Raila, Raila would retire based on his age. He knew that Raila Moldinga will not fight for Kenyans. So, and he knew very well that the only person who gives him challenge is Raila Moldinga. So guys, uh, before we go on, take a time of course, this is my greetings and of course if you have not subscribed take a time subscribe so that we'll be meeting at any time you have some amazing political updates now um Lem Samiruto right now is someone who is stressed why am i saying so you know being being the president is not easy as they someone you know <laughs> who will think because it comes with the responsibilities it comes with pressure, especially if you knew or if you know you promised your voters heaven and what you're delivering is hell. <laughs> now, um, Ruto, um, Rana Moldinga has, pr has promised to, to deal with Ruto within after 100 days. This was revealed by one weekly for Paranya. Before I say what Opanya, Opanya, Opanya you know, said, um, Ruto knew very well that the only person who will challenge him was Raila Odinga, and you thought that Raila would retire, but Raila did not retire. Remember very well, one month, last month, Raila came out gun blazing, and actually, he met on Inchi, and people were crying. Okay, people were begging him to help them. People were saying that they are regretting electing Ruto because what they thought it's not, it's not what it seems. Now, um, Ruto knew very well that. The only person who challenges is Raila, because these other parties, people like Mdavadi, you know, Wetangula, people used to give Raila weight. He has already managed to, you know, to ca claim them. He's not, he, you know, these people are, are on, on his side. And actually, he's given them big jobs. Wetangula is the speaker. Mdavadi is the prime CS. And right now, uh, Kalunzo Msioka, <laughs> last weekend, Kalunzo actually expressed interest, you know, in working with with Ruto, actually said that Ruto should uh, uh, swell in, involve him in, you know, distribution of this relief food. That's what he said. So, it means that Ruto has managed to capture all these people. But now, the only problem he has is Raila Mlodinga. And, that, and that's the headache now he has. So, Opanya today has come out, Opanya in Busire, they've come out and they've said that Raila Mlodinga is having big plans, okay? He's not done with Ruto. He's not given up, you know. He's having big plans, and these plans will see Ruto regret <laughs> claiming his victory. Now, um, one of the plans that Raila is planning after these 100 days that Ruto promised Kenyans is, you know, if at all Ruto will not have delivered on his manifestos after these 100 days, Raila Mordinga will rally all Kenyans, okay? And people will protest, people will demand, you know, you know, they will demand whatever they've been promised. They will protest. They will ask Ruto to give them what, they prom what he promised them. They will ask Ruto to, you know, to lower the, f the price of hunger. They will ask Ruto to lower, no, you know, fuel price. To lower cooking, cooking, oil, cooking oil price. Name them. Now, um, of course, it is going to be, a, you know, a little one thing. If there's something that all presidents fear, all presidents fear, is a demonstration okay because you know, when, when you're a president you're always living in fear because you don't know what tomorrow will hold you don't know what one inch will do tomorrow okay? you don't know whether you know whether people will protest you no know? don't know whether you'll be ejected out of <laughs> from state house now um i'm saying that's why you see all presidents they usually have you know intelligence okay people inform them what's happening on the ground the Raila is promising to deal with ruto after these anti days that's number one. Another thing that Raila is planning to do 
this, this issue of tax, you know, it is unreasonable, you know, for for the government to impose tax on Kenyans, to force Kenyans to pay tax when the economy is really deteriorated. You know, um, paying tax is of course is it's is good and to pay tax, but again, how will these people pay tax hmm? when they can't even put food on the table? They can't. They don't have jobs. Okay. Their kids can't even go to school because of school fees. So how will you force them to pay tax? Because he said that uh, every Kenyan who is having a Mpesa account will be given a PIN and of course that person will pay tax. It's a good thing because tax develops in the nation. But again, is this the, the correct measure to take? Because um, I believe almost every Kenyan is using Mpesa. Okay? Yeah, everyone who is over 20 years or over 18 is having an Mpesa account, so how will you force someone who is jobless to pay to pay you know, to pay tax? Someone who's in school who doesn't have even an income, how how will you, you no know, force him okay to pay tax? How are you gonna let arrest him? You know all because he has not you know he's evaded tax. That's what Ruto really is saying. Really is saying that if at all Ruto will be serious with this issue of tax, then he will rally all Kenyans, okay, to protest against this tax issue, okay. And of course, Raila Mordinga will have, yeah, will, will score some marks there because not, I, I, I believe Kenyans will, will rally behind him because paying tax is a good thing. But again, it comes with the responsibility, it comes with sacrifice. And what will you sacrifice when you cannot even put food on the table? So that's how Raila is waiting for Ruto. Okay? Actually, he's waiting for these 100 days to elapse. After that, he will know, he will, Ruto will know who he is. Remember, Raila has been holding <laughs> demonstrations since 1990 Moi knows him, Kibaki knows him, Uru knows him, Ruto knows him, okay? So if he decides that this country is ungovernable, my friend, the country will remain ungovernable. If he decides that no one will, you know, no one will pay tax. Remember uh, 2017, when Raila, you know, commanded his supporters not to do business with Safaricom, okay? Not to buy credit from Safaricom. Actually, Safaricom complained because people... You no know, people demonstrated, people protested, people didn't want to be, you no know, to, to to work with Safaricom. No one was buying credit from Safaricom, and of course this led to a loss. Of, this led to, to Safaricom losing, okay, you know, losing the revenues. That's what Raleigh can do. He's very powerful. That's the reality. So the question is, will Ruto deliver on his manifestos? Because he promised Kenyans that he will lower the price of food, price of hunger. But nothing has happened. Okay, in fact, Unga has gone up again. You know, so he said he is waiting for him for this hundred days to elapse. After that, he will know what to do. <laughs> what to do with the Ruto? Yeah. So Opanya, that's what my Opanya said. So let's wait and see what will happen. Maybe Ruto will, you know, deliver on his manifesto within these hundred days. Let's wait and see what is what will happen. And of course, guys, tell me, tell me in the comment section. Do you think Raila should should do this? If at all Ruto will not will not have, you know. Um, delivered on his manifesto. Okay, do you think she will do this? Do you think Ruto needs to be afraid of Raila Mordinga? Do you think Ruto needs to deliver on his manifesto? Tell me in the comment section. And of course, before leaving, of course, take your time, support the channel, subscribe, so that we we'll be meeting here every time. We have this amazing political content. Thank you, and let me see you again in the next video. Thank you.